So I just turned the camera off, which uh, I don't know if it'll show up. I'm saying this without being able to review the, the video, the last video, but when I was getting ready to turn this off in the distance, I right after I turned it off, I glanced, I said, oh crap, there's another, there's two more items. So uh, there's two more items here that I've got spotted on the ground. One I know is, well, both of them I know what it is. We'll see if they're any good. So stick with me here. Maybe even a third item over there. So uh, stick with me here. We're going to take another uh, walk through the gravel and see what we found here. So the item that caught my eye, first of all, and you maybe could see it in the distance, is this giant jawbone here. And that is a bison jawbone. And I'm just surprised at how much they curve. I, I, how much this curves like that, it just amazes me. But, but yep, that's a bison jawbone. So we're gonna hang on to that. We're gonna put that up here on top of this log for the time being. And then I saw this item here, which I'm fond of bottles, and that's a nice bottle. Even though it's not ancient, it, it's not a screw cap, it's machine made, but once I clean that out, it's almost uh, uh, an amethyst-like color to it, so we'll hang on to that and uh, take that with us. And I see something down here, which might not be anything, it might just be a rock. While I got the camera on, I'll not make the mistake again. This isn't, this isn't what I saw, but that's a nice, I don't know what kind of rock that is, but that's going to go home with me to, to the wife's rock garden. And then this white object over here caught my attention. Now it looks bonish. Oh, I can see teeth. There's teeth right there. So it's another section of jawbone. And that's three sections of bison jawbone. This one's quite older. There's three sections of jawbone just in this little section here, um, which uh, is pretty cool. And uh, I see another bottle, but I think it's more modern, but we're gonna walk down here and take a look at it. This one's embossed with a big eagle on it, but let's uh, just stick with me here. Let's rinse it off and see if I, Make sure I don't get stuck in the, in the mud like I almost did. Yeah, the camera's always shaky when I do this. Sorry. Well, that's a double, it's a double headed eagle with wings. Which tell me and that's like a I believe that's like a, a Russian Polish or kind of like a Romanov symbol. It is so this is gonna be a it's a screw cap, it's a whiskey bottle, probably. Well maybe vodka with those uh, those eagles on it. But it's a screw cap and with the writing not like that, it's usually alcohol. And the shape of it says alcohol. So I'll just do a little research on that and see how old it is and see where it came from. Um, my next journey is gonna be out, carefully getting out in those little uh, gravel beds you see there. But it gets a little bit dangerous doing that because the ground is so saturated. But that's what I'm gonna do. That's where I'm going next. Um, got a handful of stuff to put in the canoe. Not the finds of the century, but I've been out here since just after dawn, not finding a whole lot, just enough to keep me motivated. Um, and I appreciate you guys coming with me. Thanks a lot. Scott's out.